worldwide. Hi, kid. When we celebrate New Year's Eve on January 1st, we are following the sun, the solar calendar. But there's also a calendar that follows the moon, the lunar calendar. And that's when we celebrate the Lunar New Year. Also known as the Chinese New Year. And guess what? What? Chicken butt? <laughs> no, no, it is not year of the rooster. This is the year of the dragon. Whoa, does that include half dragons like you? Oh, I, I think so. A hundred percent yes, Doug. And the Chinese consider dragons to be quite powerful. Uh-huh. And lucky. Really? And honorable. Oh, that may be my favorite one of all. Honorable. You are very honorable. Doug, you may be a half dragon, but you are 100% honorable and powerful. Oh, you think I am powerful? Well, you're a superhero of kindness. That's a superpower. Oh, gosh. You're starting to make me feel proud about my half dragonness. You should be proud of. Everything that you are, right, kid? Yeah! Yay! Let's celebrate the year of the dragon. This only comes around every 12 years, the year of the dragon. Why, you might be asking, storyteller, why is it only year of the dragon once every 12 years? Look. Oh, foot first. Happy Year of the Dragon, smiley face, Oliver, chin. You see who that is right there? Only the writer. And look at how easily they've laid it all out for us. See, every 12 years, it belongs to one of these animals and, and all their different characteristics. So now it's the Year of the Dragon. Uh, uh, uh. But I have a feeling we're going to see some of the other Zodiac animal gang throughout the book. Uh, uh, uh. High amidst the mountain peaks, a pair of dragons lived. In their cave, they gently tended to uh, their first egg. Eventually, crack, 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 crack. Eventually, its shell slowly began to crack, 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 crack. A whisper of smoke emerged and... Out peaked a baby. And look at that. The dad is already prepared with his very first Dragon Time story time. And the mom is already knitting an extremely long onesie. And if you happen to speak Chinese, you can read the Chinese words right there. The proud parents scooped up their hatchling and named him... Dominic! Papa Dragon. Ah, oh, he was beaming. Now, Dom, you can roam the earth, sea, and sky. Perching outside, they showed him the world far below. For baby Dom, it's a whole new world. Gliding over hills and streams, the family spotted the Imperial Palace. The kind emperor, empress, and their court greeted them. Hello there. Hi, dragon family. And see, Dom, the, the baby dragon, is perched on his dad's back. And there's mom looking down, very proud to show off the baby. My, we do look alike said the snake. Uh, and he, the snake actually has a very good point because look at them. They're both long and slinky. But Dom was growing fast and suddenly, boop, boop, wings popped out. Dom shouted, wow, I can fly, whoosh. Lifting off, he waved goodbye and followed his parents into the clouds. Look at that, no longer having to rest on dad's back. He is flying on his own. And what is he, like two minutes old? Whew, he's quick. Mama reminded him, remember, dragons are special. No one can soar as swift or swim as deep. Papa puffed. Who blows the winds? Who commands the rain? Who advises the emperor? 
We do. We do. Oh, I do. Uh, I guess, kind of, sort of. Indeed, Dom learned that dragons could do things that others could not. For example, the slinky serpent could play boop, 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 ping pong solo, pick an entire orange tree, and uh, roast marshmallows entirely by himself. Wow, that's an awesome trick. Oh, I don't like that part because uh, I think fire breathing is too hot. That's because you're super cool. Hey. <laughs> One day, the boy named Bo invited Dom to a swimming party. The neighbors were excited to meet a dragon. I mean, look at this. Almost the entire Zodiac animal gang is there. We've got the rabbit, we've got the sheep, and then over here on the cliff is the ox looking out. And then we have the horse, and there's the pig, and there's the rat, and there's a tiger. And of course, our dragon. Yes, they all have their own individual years. But wait, there's more. Over here on this page, there's the rooster and the dog. They all have their own year, but this was Dragon's year. So everyone's super excited to be meeting Dragon because it's all about him this year. But soon, everyone's attention turned to the noisy scene across the river. What's going on over there? Villagers beat drums and paddled long, narrow boats. That is a very loud and distracting drum, yes. Together they raced up and downstream. That looks like fun, clucked the rooster. Hey, I see my uncle, said Bo. Oh, that, that must be his uncle right there. You can see the family resemblance. Uh, tomorrow I'll ask if we can join him. Okay, so on with the swimming party. Tomorrow we'll figure out what's going on over here. The next day, Dom met his new friends on the opposite shore and at the docks, Bo's uncle was coaching a group of people. So the boy asked politely, Good morning, uncle. Can you teach us to paddle a boat too? But <laughs> the crowd laughed. And his uncle frowned. Bo, we are busy practicing for the big race next week, he replied. We don't have time to teach you, so run along and play somewhere else. I mean, <clears throat> I didn't like the laughter, but in Bo's uncle's defense, they are busy preparing for an important race. Maybe they should just come back and ask after the race. <laughs> so you think they're going to be willing to wait to some undetermined date to learn how to row a boat? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the monkey suggested... <laughs> If they won't help us, maybe someone else will. At the pier, they asked the fisherman for aid. <laughs> what did I tell you? The Zodiac animal crew does not specialize in waiting. <laughs> That's too bad because unfortunately, the fisherman, well, they didn't help him in return because clearly he's like busy, you know, fishing at work. So they were ready to leave and then they saw... The emperor strolling by. And how did the tiger end up with one of the fishermen's fish in his mouth? Hmm, sneaky. The gang spurred Dom onward. Um, your highness, we want to paddle but have no boat, he explained. Could you help us? Dom, the emperor replied very regally. As a favor to your parents, I'll lend you my spare canoe. Whoa, that's a big privilege. Overjoyed, they went to the palace where a sleek ship awaited them on the royal lake. Happily, they grabbed their gear. However, oh, surprise, surprise, paddling was not as easy as they expected. <laughs> Just because they wanted to paddle doesn't mean a single one of them actually had any actual rowing or paddling experience. <laughs> well, there's a first time for everything. And now everybody's in the boat, everybody has their paddle, everybody has their enthusiasm and good spirits. And we seem to have a problem here. Either Dominic's paddle was too short or he was too long. And the last one in, the dragon couldn't fit his tail. 
and then the boat began to sway. Oh, no. Everyone lost their balance and tipped over with a splash. Oh. I should have seen that coming, but I didn't. The emperor's team laughed. They're very good at laughing, aren't they? <laughs> we are the champions and we train all year, jeered the royal admiral. Now you've sunk the emperor's boat. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Give up while you still can. Give up? We don't speak about giving up around here. Although this is a bit catastrophic. Hey, that is not... Not very nice. Ah, you're gonna eat those words, you, 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 royal admiral person, you. Isn't that right, storyteller? Yeah, isn't that right? Will he eat his words? I don't know. Yet. Keep reading! Yeah, keep reading, please. Well, as you can imagine, after this entire scene and all the jeering, Bo and the animals were embarrassed. And the rat moaned, Oh, what should we do now? Well, not wanting to let them down, Dom volunteered. I'll ask my parents for advice. They are wise and powerful. Meanwhile, shake it off, shake it off. But Papa, uh oh, was not pleased. Dragons drive the winds and waves, he fumed. We don't ride on little boats. And Mama added, Dear, tell your friends that you have better things to do. I was not expecting that. Soon, Dom relayed the bad news. I guess I have to quit. Bo sighed. Maybe they're right. We're too different after all. Dom shrugged his shoulders like that, and shrank sadly into the shadows like that, looking all ashamed, and they're sad, and he's frustrated, and he's still feeling kind of wet and uncomfortable in certain spots. Gazing wistfully into the river, Dom noticed his reflection, and the dragon was surprised that he shared many of his pal's qualities. Suddenly, he realized they had more in common than others thought. I do believe that our little dragon is formulating some kind of an idea. A solution, perhaps? Let's see. He remembered what Mama and Papa had told him. A dragon is the ruler of the water. Aha! Uh -huh, cried Dom. I know what we can do. Then he eagerly shared his plan. What is this plan? The following morning, the villagers were startled. Oh, what? Oh, to see the animals cruising on by cruising. Well, there, there, there are no rules against a dragon boat, sputtered Bo's uncle, who clearly has the rules right there in his hands. But, but Dom can't move his hands, feet, or wings. Yes, because otherwise that would be unfair versus humans without all those powerful wings and, you know, super feet and stuff like that. At practice, the rat steered. Oh, interesting, the rat is steering. And, and Bo drummed the beat. Let's get that beat going. Okay, okay, feeling that beat? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The rest gradually matched their strokes because that's a big thing. When you're doing the paddling together, you have to match, otherwise it's a mess. Ask me how I know. Uh, back and forth, they pulled Dom, whoosh! And Dom is the boat! After a long day, boy, were they tired, but eager for tomorrow's race. Bah, 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 bah. So not only have they found a way to have a boat, they're going to be in the race now? After one day of practicing? Bold move, animals of the Zodiac. Bold move. The festival day had arrived. Ba, 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 ba. Colorful banners decorated the village and welcomed teams from distant lands. The visitors crowded the riverbanks. Look at them all over and marveling at what? This most unusual crew. Among them were two surprised guests. 
Papa Dragon roared. Oh no, that doesn't look like a good face. What does Dom think he's doing? But Mama Dragon greeted Bo's parents, right there, and whispered, wish the boys good luck. They'll need it. Oh boy, they sure are because these guys, these teams have been practicing for a long time, certainly more than a day. The Empress banged the gong. Bang. The big race had begun! Paddles quickly beat the water, it's splashing everywhere. The other team sprinted ahead and the animals scrambled to keep pace. Look at that effort on their faces, the concentration. They are paddling as hard as they can. And meanwhile, this one's probably going like, Meh. you know how they are. Reaching the halfway mark, they trailed in last place. I have an idea, Dom shouted. Hold on tight! He took a deep breath sucked in his sides and made himself straighter than an arrow. Oh, do you know what he's doing? The streamlined dragon cut through the water faster than before because he's made him so sleek and smaller like a fiery rocket. He sped down the river. They passed Bo's uncle, by uncle, and the other teams, by teams, and, and, and the, all everybody else until only the imperial boat lay before them. Suddenly, Bo yelled, I see the dragon gate! They had almost caught up. Oh, so close. Everybody's beating their drums. Everybody, oh, is getting exhausted, tired. Look at that face. Look at those beads of sweat. They needed one last push, but Dom was tiring from carrying them. I mean, there are 12 of them. The other 11 Zodiac animals, plus the kid. <sighs> Dom was tiring from carrying them. What could he do? <laughs> Dom stretched his neck with a mighty roar, and both boats surged across the line for a photo finish. Who was first? The judges huddled to determine the winner because when it is a photo finish, that means they need to look at the photo because at the finish, they were so close. Finally, the emperor announced, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, the dragon boat has won by a nose. <laughs> a literal nose. The emperor awarded a great, ooh, that is humongous, a great pearl to the unlikely champions. Oh, you were golden, praised Dom's parents, who are like totally proud now. Look at the dad, fire breathing, but in a good way. The celebration resounded towards the heavens because wow, they were making some serious noise and happy dragons danced in delight. Everybody's happy and cheering. Even the other teams are like, wow, the underdogs, I'm so impressed press except this guy i think that dom's dad just set something of his on fire and oh well afterwards dom continued to play with Bo and their pals wherever they went they learned how to be good sports which involves not doing anything like this <laughs> right and make their parents proud of them in all new ways from then on, Dom inspired many dragon boat races and everyone from heaven below agreed that it was a magical year of the dragon. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. The year of the dragon. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Happy Year of the Dragon to everyone! To Bash! And to you, kid! And to you, my best friend, Dog the Dinosaur, who is also a half dragon! Oh, have a year that flies high! Ba ba ba! Ba ba ba! The Year of the Dragon! Ba ba ba! Ba ba ba! Ba ba ba! ba, ba, ba.